Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video today about um, my suggestions for registering and scheduling your classes for uh, college. Um, I currently go to Rutgers University. This is um, my junior year now. I have uh, about three semesters left. Yeah, I'll have this spring, the upcoming spring, then I'll have the fall and the next spring, and then I should be done, God willing. But um, I'm doing fairly well in Rutgers, so it should go you know, smoothly. But um, as far as my suggestions for going um, and registering, I would say the most important thing as far as um, what you have to do is going to be finding out uh, when you can start registering. So you want to find out the date that, you know, you're going to be available to do that. You know, normally it's going to be online and also a time will be given too. So like for me at Rutgers, they had a starting, um, it was on, I, I was able to go on and do that. It was a Thursday night at 10 o'clock. So I had a class on Thursday because I'm still in the fall semester. And um, my class ended at 8.40 and I had to drive home because I live off campus. I live with my girlfriend, we have a house. And um, I got home and I just made it. I got on in time and I was able to begin registering for classes. But even um, before you're doing that, that's gonna be your most important because being able to like register as soon as you're allowed to is gonna help provide you a better chance at you know getting the classes you want. So you know if you wait a week after you were originally able to, you're not gonna have a good of a chance to register because people have already been registering for a week, you know, and depending like um, how many credits you have also, because that's like what Rutgers does currently. It's you know, progressively when you have more credits and you're closer to graduating, you get first pick at registering for classes. So when I registered, that was like a week after, you know, already the most senior people were able to register. So I wasn't able to get all my classes, you know, classes I want to take were already filled up. So, I mean, hopefully next year I'll be able to take them. I'm sure I will, because then at that point also I'll be watching the dates and the times. So moving along, you want to research, and this is another big thing, know your general core requirements and also your, your major requirements, because you want to get them done and out of the way. You don't want to be, you know, down to the wire and it's the last semester and, oh my god, I forgot I need, you know, two histories and I need another math and another science. No, your last, you know, sem your last semester should be like all electives, you know? You want to be relaxed your last semester, getting ready to graduate, you know, you can start applying for jobs and, you know, be worried more about that. You want to be, you know, have a, have an easy easy time for the ending semesters and um, you know that's how I'm kind of basing it also is saving my electives towards those ending semesters I'd rather put in the work now get you know all the core requirements my major requirements done and then worry about the electives you know later on um, even also before you know it's your time to register um, research what classes are going to be available and this is also going to coincide with um, researching the professors that are going to be teaching those classes you want to ask you know your friends definitely first and then you know classmates um, you know if they could recommend any classes to take you know see what teachers were good because really a lot of times you know what makes the class is going to be the professor I might have I've taken some classes before that I might not have been too interested in the subject matter, but the professor was so good. They honestly got you involved. They, you know, they really uh, struck your interest in it. You know, it really got your mind going and it made you want to learn the material. You know, if you have somebody that's, you know, great like that, go ahead and take the class. You know, even if it's something you're not sure about, take the class. If somebody's I, you know, I don't really get a lot of recommendations like that, but when I've gotten them before and then I've taken the class, it was, you know, a big surprise and I was glad that, you know, I did take the class. Um, and then um, even another thing, if you have friends and classmates that didn't take the classes, go on Rate My Professor. That's a good website, ratemyprofessor.com. And um, you can type in, you know, the professor's name and the university that they're at. 
they might be on there. If they're on there, take the advice on there as well because I've used that before also and it worked out very well for myself. Um, I was surprised that, you know, everything that was, you know, said on there really came out to be true. So, you know, it, people give the teachers like a ratings and they'll give it a quick review also. They might tell you, you know, like what the exams were like and, you know, how the class was structured, how the class was, if they let you out early, you know, so on and so forth. So, um, next thing you're going to want to do is going ahead and once you have all those things compiled, you know what classes you want to take, you know what professors you want to take for those classes, start writing down a list, you know, start making schedules. Okay, well this is the first schedule I really want. Hopefully I get it. And then if that doesn't work out, have, you know, classes, have you know have like multiple schedules set up so basically have your initial initial schedule of classes you're you're really you know aiming for but then also have like a list of classes like okay if I don't get um this management course I'll take that management course you know so have backups and not just one have a couple of them you know you can have schedule a b c d e you know and or you know schedule one two three four five you might not have to go that in depth, but I'm just saying it's good to be prepared. You don't want to, um, this is what happened to me the other night on Thursday when I got home. I got every class I wanted except one. So now I'm one class short from being full time. So now I have to go back and um, I wasn't, you know, it was, I'm lucky that I did put in the work and I was looking, but now I wanted to go back and check which ones were still open. So I went back and checked and I registered and I got the class. I got, you know, full-time classes for next semester, so I'm in, but I mean, that's a big thing, making multiple schedules, or if not multiple schedules, having those backup classes for if a class is filled, you can go ahead and just plug in another number, another course number, and hopefully that one works. And you know, you might have to do it subsequent times. You might have to put in a few course numbers before one, you know, finally goes off. I mean, because you think about it, it, when when registration opens up that's why I mean number one I can't stress that enough you have to be you know ready to go once it's open you know click register and you have to start you know putting in your information and everything do it as quick as you can because you're gonna have a better chance and a leg up on the other people you know that are oh whatever you know I'll, I'll schedule later on not not today not this week you know or I know I have friends that, you know, are like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to schedule till I see, you know, how my grades are this semester. Um, for me, I take college very seriously. I mean, right now, thankfully, I'm maintaining, like, uh, all A's throughout my classes. So, but there's some people that, you know, it's like they don't care. But I feel like, you know, if you have to wait until you get your grades for the for this semester, you know, the fall to register for spring, I don't know, maybe you should take a step back and think and look at the actual scenario, you know, maybe you're not taking this whole time, you know, serious enough. A lot of people aren't, but I mean, ultimately, it might, <laughs> in one way, it's like, you know, it's going to work out for someone else then. If, if somebody's waiting, you know, a week or two weeks after they were already allowed to register, somebody else is going to get in. So I mean, it's like a good and a bad thing, you know, good for somebody, bad for somebody else. And um, just to end it, um, registration and scheduling, especially for college classes, can be very frustrating and stressful. Um, you know, try to take a few deep breaths and relax, calm down, you know. Um, you know, once you've completed and you've, you know, you've gotten the classes or, you know, you've gotten at least some type of schedule that, you know, you're going to be getting some credits next semester and working towards your degree, you know, go out, have some fun or, you know, do something, enjoy yourself. So, um, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys took something away from it. If you could please um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out some of the also, also some of the other videos. Um, I'm also uh, a vegan too, so check out some of my videos. Um, I have some recipes on there as well, so check them out and be sure to comment and, you know, just 
you know, let me know your feedback. And good luck scheduling for classes, and have a good one, guys. Bye.